Welcome back guys, and for those of you who were worried that this series was going away because the new series had started, no, 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 no way. This series is not going away for a long time. I've got so many things that I want to do. Now, one of the things that I'm going to be talking to you about in this video is the, um, the difference between the two series. Because I'm going to make the two series very, very different. Uh, but we'll be talking about that while we're having a bit of a ride on a train. So you, you've got something nice to look at. Now, I have been doing a lot of work. Don't I always? Um, this is the Applejack line. So this is, uh, oh, good, good Lord, what this is. Uh, this is, um, this is Maisley. This is Maisley Freight, the main freight station down here. And this is the Applejack line going up here and past the farm and then up to... Uh, the uh, the food processing plant. I've done a lot of work on this and I want to show you. Just take a look at this. Well, what do you think, guys? I think that's a little bit of a transformation. Doesn't that look pretty? Come on, doesn't that look pretty? It's amazing. A little bit of time and a little bit of love and you can create some pretty incredibly beautiful vistas i mean this this is starting to look pretty damn nice now like like you look how bare these fields are but like you just blend it in with a bit of woodland and a bit of forest and stuff and suddenly you know and like the factories right if if you take a little bit of time and start to blend them in to the the surroundings and suddenly you know they don't look like those barren little squares and I've been I've been focusing on like at the at the train level like what things look like. So for, okay, for example, um, when you come and uh, now where did I where where was I doing this? Um, oh yeah 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 down here when when you come through this this cutting and you come out the other side, I deliberately kept the woodland clear because I wanted to be able to see when you come through here. Uh, and I've lost it now. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> actually, I've screwed it up because I've put this freaking bridge in the way. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, I'd left it clear of woodland here so that you could see this over here. But now you kind of have to wait until you go through this this bridge section. And we'll talk about this in a minute. And then, But, w but when you come through here, then you're going to be able to see this. Now... You may think, yeah, well, that's nothing special. And at the moment, it isn't. But we're going to be doing some work on that. Because this is the world-famous Somewhere Else Railway Museum. And uh, and we're going to be parking the, the Yorkie Pud Express over here. Now, the Yorkie Pud Express is currently holed up in a, in a barn. <laughs> where is it? I don't even know where it is. Here it is. It's holed up in this barn over here. The good old Yorkie Pud Express. There is, by the way, a very bitter custody battle going on between Yorkie Pudshire and uh, and the Somewhere Else Museum for possession of the Yorkie Pud Express. Uh, and I think what's going to happen is the Yorkie Pud Express is going to go to the uh, the Somewhere Else Museum because it did used to run, you know, to somewhere else. So fair dues. Um, but the uh, the Yorkie Pud Express is going to be reborn as the, um, the Yorkie Pud Express 2 uh, and probably 3, 4 or 5 on the uh, the regional line which is going to be running through um, Yorkie Pudgeer over here. I should put the names on, shouldn't I? So that you know guys can see what it is. Yeah, so um, the regional line that's going to be running from from Bickety's Hollow through Yorkie Pudgeer and Heidelberg and Premier 2 Kate and to over to Dogging. Um, yeah, that's that's where we'll have the Yorkie Pud Expresses running. Because you've got to have some Yorkie Pud Express, haven't you? Uh, now, obviously this area over here uh, Ice Cream Town I've, uh, I've got to develop the, the town on this side of the railway so that it kind of blends in. But but we are starting to get there. This is, I think this is going to look freaking amazing when the, when the town grows up a bit around here. And I've kind of got the roads sorted out and stuff like that. Um, the, obviously, this, like a lot of this is going to get upgraded and stuff. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Things are going to change. Things are going to get knocked down. But it'll all grow again. So, yeah, now, let's go and look at my freaking pride and joy, which is this bridge. Now, this style of bridge, or this style of, like, uh, like intersection, uh, is, uh, is very common in the UK. Very common. 
a lot of our motorway junctions are like this, where you've got this this kind of a roundabout going over, usually another uh, another motorway going underneath, right? But in this particular instance, we've got uh, we've got this road, and it's forming kind of a T junction with this road going over to uh, to Ice Cream Town, uh, and then we've got the railway line going underneath. And I thought, I wonder if I could do this, and um, and I did. A what? Oh, you wanted to see me build it? Oh, well, why didn't you say? Here you go, have a look.
You enjoy that? <laughs> oh dear, I've I've got like I don't know, like about I've spent about eight hours on this, some, something like that, about about eight hours. Um, and the, the Applejack line now is like it, it's a real pleasure to ride up and down the a Applejack line. Should we should we have a bit of a ride up and down the Applejack line? Oh, go on, go on, let's have a ride up and down the Applejack line. Now here's the um, here's the processing plant, and uh, as you can see, um, we've got. We've got some some nice some of the nice depots. Look at that! Look at that barrier that's been put on there. These are very very cool. Oh, we're not done with this, by the way. We're going to be doing a bit of work on this. Um, so th this this episode's going to have everything. It's going to have, it's going to have time lapse. It's going to have it's going to have rides, first person and third person. We're going to do we're going to we did do some building. My God, don't I spoil you? But I want to uh, I want to talk to you about. The difference between this series and the um, the other series, the American series that I've just started. So uh, now, uh, you know, I probably should have done the building first, but now because I'm going to talk to you. So let's um, let's have a ride on the Applejack cart. Let's um, probably now you, you can minimise it. If you double click, you can minimise it like that. But like, what's the point when you could just like stick it down there like that? Which is a lot easier. Uh, so let's uh, let's follow the Applejack cart. So let's start her up. You going to flip around for us? Of course you are. We're going to do some work on, on this area here. And we're going to do some work on um, on, on the museum as well. So, um, I suppose we... I suppose... Yeah, I suppose... I have to bring that up and do a bit of... Oh, a bit of first person. The other train going by. So, it, it's a pretty fun little ride. There's, there's lots to see. You've got... Um, Obviously, we go under this railway bridge to kick off with, right? And then you've got you've got the airport on the left-hand side. And we're going to be doing a lot of work on the airport. Oh hell yeah! And then uh, then we go under the the bridge that carries the trams. We just had a tram go over the top. It's a bit of a pity we went a bit closer. Another train coming. We've got a tunnel down on the left-hand side. The road goes under the, under there. That's the road over to the farm. And there's the tunnel on the other side, and there's the farm. There's the farm. And then we go through the uh, through the farm station, through this little bit of woodland, and then we come down to the awesome. I, I'm sorry, but I think it's freaking awesome. We come down to this awesome junction. We've got the uh, little track going off to the off to the museum, and we come under this freaking awesome couple of bridges. Stop lagging, you're spoiling it, game. And then pass another train. And then we're down into... Look, oh, look, and as you come over the top, the city comes into view. And then we're into this big station. There's a little bit of bumpy track there. I need to smooth that out. And then we're into this station. And this station definitely needs some work. Because um, it's, all a bit, it's all a bit barren on this side at the moment. So now we, we are going to have a ride back on uh, on the train. Let's pause it. We will have a ride back. But yeah, it's a bit barren around here at the moment. So I will be putting some stuff in down here. Um, I kind of kind of slapped this road in and hooked it up to here. I put in this nice nice little bit round here. Um, I had uh, big problems with with like creating these junctions. Um, it it's very it, it wants to flatten. It wants to have a flat section of road to connect to, and so if if it's running on a slope, what you do, what what happens is that you, it creates this flat section, and then you get like a right a, a raised incline, 
uh, on the sections before and after it, which can cause real problems. But um, I've kind of learned, I'm learning so much about the game and like how to get around these little issues. Um, but yeah, like obviously we want, uh, we want Macely to grow this way a little bit. So it kind of encompasses this station and we'll, we'll grow it a little bit that way as well to encompass that station, uh, which shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. You mean, see, we've already got, we've already got buildings sprouting up over here. It won't be long before they come down here, but all of this needs, um, needs tidying up and I need to lay some roads out and I need to figure out how the transport system's going to be. And then I'm going to start working over here because obviously we've got the regional route and it's all going to go on and on and on. For, for months and years, probably. <laughs> oh, look at all look at all these views. They're just incredible. I wonder what it's like when you come out the tunnel at the other end. Where, where's the tunnel? Oh, the tunnel comes out here. God, when you come out that tunnel and you're suddenly presented with the station and the city. And look at these buildings. See, this is my problem with Blooming Catenaries. I kind of spoil it. I don't like catenaries very much. Let's switch to some diesel trains. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. We were going to ride back on the Applejack, and I was actually going to tell you like uh, about the difference between the, the, the two series. So, the the other series, the, um, the US series, um, that we're playing on medium difficulty. Right? And we're going to... We're going to have to like, like concentrate a bit. Certainly in the early years. So we're going to be we're going to be using this series as kind of our experimentation series, where we'll, we'll kind of figure stuff out and try out different ideas and stuff. Um, look at this. You come through here. You get this huge junkie. Um But also, we're going to be employing different techniques in the two series. As we come under this bridge, and then we've got the, the Yorkie Pud Museum over there. Well, the somewhere else museum with the Yorkie Pud. And then on the other side, you've got a big tunnel and the road disappears into. And then I love, I, I love the farms, now the fields. You blend them in with a few trees, and suddenly it looks so cool. Um, so, for example, in this series, we're going to be using the Halo. Uh, and um, we'll be splitting the halo into sections, but we'll have the big passenger halo and all that kind of stuff. Oh, there's the airport. What are you slowing down for? Oh, you're stopping at the you're stopping at the farm. And there's the farm. And I spent quite a bit of time on uh, on like, well, like on, on like on this area and doing the trees. And you got the city in the background. But I might do some more work on this because I was looking at this earlier and thinking, yeah, I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. Ooh, train going by. And we come under the tram bridge with the trams going over. Here's what. Oh, look at the cobras. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, stop lagging, game. You're spoiling it. God, I can't wait for this performance update. It better be good. It better be good. Um, yeah, so so we're using the Halo in this series. In the other series, it's just going to be um, it's just going to be like point to point stuff, and we're going to be using like I don't know, I don't know stars and, and hubs and all that, all that kind of stuff. And then we roll up here to the, the the food production facility. But this is a bit I don't know. This is a bit barren, right? So this is where we're going to do a bit of work. Uh, as well as the museum, so let's um, let's leave you there, park you there for a bit. Now I put this uh, put this road down here and put this in, but I think uh, I don't know. I quite like the road coming down there, but I want to put in some other buildings because I've downloaded some more mods. Now the um, I, I suppose as I'm doing this, yeah, let's get rid of this. Uh, am I going to leave that road in there? I'm kind of tempted to leave that road in there. I suppose I could have the road coming down the back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I have spent ages freaking playing around with this road as well. But now I'm going to get rid of it. Like, what else is new? Um, yeah. I was talking about something then, and I was talking about something relatively important, and I've forgotten what it was. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, so, we're going to run a track down the side of here. Um, from about, I don't know, like... About there. Now I could run it right next to those tracks, but I'm actually going to leave a gap. 
So we'll run it up to like there. And I'm going to use standard tracks because it gives you a different look, which I quite like. Gives you a slightly, a slightly dirty look, which um, kind of looks like tracks that aren't used so much, which uh, I definitely like the idea of. So we'll pop, we'll pop like a couple of tracks in like that. Now, bear in mind, this is, we, we want this to be kind of like a big food production thing. And um, I've put these woods in here. And originally I kind of was like, yeah, I shouldn't because I want to see this stuff. So that's why I started playing around with the idea of, of like putting more buildings and stuff in down here. Well, let's let's put some more buildings in. Now, let's say we want to probably extend this out like a little bit. Probably, how about up to the middle of those points? Yeah, let's try this. Now I'm winging this, so this, this I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um... And then, now we're going to have to clear these points, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have to clear these points. So it's going to have to come all the way down here. And this one. And now the only problem is, yeah, see, I've come down here and we need it to be, we actually need to be up a bit. So I'm going to have to do this slightly differently. Let's take those back to the end of the, room, of the station. We need to keep them at the same height as the track. So, uh, my point's finished there. So, if I'm going to take a track off here, I don't know, um, kind of, kind of here-ish, something like, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that'll work, that'll work. And then run it down there. And then this one, um, I don't know. How do we want that one to be? Uh, so let's bring it out to like there. And then we'll kind of hook it on somehow. How about like that? That kind of looks... Yeah, that looks okay. Cool. So um, we've got this section. But, but again, it's kind of boring, isn't it? What we need are some buildings that we can put alongside it that kind of work with the whole factory idea. And I got the perfect thing got the perfect thing now yeah, where is it is it at the end of here no it's in th it's in this section look at these look at these that i found on the workshop oh yeah and now there's all kinds of things there's this um this uh Lagerhalle, which um god knows what that means it's uh, there's loads of stuff that's in german for these uh for these mods so we've got we've got that thing which is a trackside asset and we've got this the uh, the schenkerhalle which is uh, another trackside asset and then we've got the uh, the net house, which is uh, another trackside asset. And we've got this, which is the uh, the DB Schenker Lagerhalle, which is huge. And I thought it's perfect for over here because this is going to look like a like a warehousing kind of thing. Now these will slot right onto the tracks, and this one actually like extends over the tracks and put these pillars like in the middle. Doesn't that look freaking awesome? So I thought, um, oh, I, I didn't actually mean to place that there, but actually it's gone in in exactly the right place. <laughs> it's like perfectly lined up with these buffers at the end. God, I couldn't have put that in more perfectly if I'd, uh, if I'd done it deliberately. Um, but like one of those, no, one of them's not enough. We need, uh, we need the whole thing. So let's get, uh, let's get some more of that going on. So now. Let's, let's zoom in just a little bit because I kind of want this. Now, do I want it like that or do I actually want to butt them up together? And I think we want to butt them up together, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. So let's butt them up together like that. Oh, how freaking awesome is that, guys? Is that enough or do we need one more? Because we just got enough track to do one more. Oh, kind of tempted. Yep. Temptation got the better of me. Now, look at that. Now, that is a destination, isn't it? So, we come up here. And as we pull in, you're going to be able to see the production facility. This is the warehousing and the loading up and all the rest of it. It's, it's pretty sweet, isn't it? 
I'm getting so ridiculously excited about stuff. Now, we've got a bunch of points and stuff down here. We could put another building down here, like a smaller building. Um, maybe even on the other side. No, we don't want to put it in an airport. Um, I don't know, like maybe on this side. Now, as well as these, I've also got another building somewhere. God knows where it is. Oh, here it is. We've got this. The, um, the post Aguilage. This is uh, this is French. Now, now we could put this like like somewhere down here. Now, this is this is just a free building. You could put this anywhere. Well, I mean, you can put this, I think, anywhere as well. But this is not a, like a trackside asset. But it is meant to be put trackside. Now, we could put that kind of somewhere like that. Now, if we did, how would it look? Oh, it's, it's not bad, actually. It's not bad. But what about if we put it on the other side? Would it look better? Oh, I think, I think somewhere, somewhere down here. Just flip you around a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm in kind of two minds now. That side or that side? Oh, see, now I'm thinking over here. So, can, can you see where my time goes <laughs> when I'm working on this kind of stuff? See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking somewhere like over here-ish. Um, yeah, somewhere about there. Now, one thing with placing these buildings that sometimes they can be above the ground, right? Now, obviously, you could raise it with using the terrain tools, but the um, the clever way to do it. Right, let's say we want to put that like there. The clever way to do it is just get yourself a piece of track. Put yourself a piece of track about the size of the building you're going to place. Um, we'd want like a couple of those, I think, for this building. Get rid of that. That creates you a nice platform. And then get the building that you want to place. Oh, that's about right. Come around the other side. Because these um, these buildings and these all of these buildings are the same. They don't raise the terrain. I'll, I'll kind of show you in a more obvious place. Uh, that needs to come around like that, I think. So about there, do you think? Yeah, about maybe back a fraction there. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, these are these are definitely going to get used. These are definitely going to get used. I'd love to do like a massive freight yard somewhere with like rows of these warehouses and stuff. Oh, so there you go. Um, I think that's probably all I'm going to do with that for now. I'll, I'll come back and do a bit more work. We'll put some, I don't know, some trees and we'll we'll put some stuff in to make it a bit a bit mucky and a bit scruffy around here. And the way you do that, by the way, I'll show you very very quickly like, like, like two seconds kind of quick um, is if you get these um, get these shrubs get your shrubs and then if you put in these shrubs like kind of close together it does that to the terrain right but if you carry on right and put more in it goes this really filthy color right so you can create some really really nice nasty grubby areas if you want which is very cool um, I don't know, I might, I'm, I'm wondering if I put something down here. I probably will end up putting stuff down there. I'm not going to do it now. Um, I'll come back and play with that afterwards. Oh, ho, ho. all right, love that. Right, let's go back to the museum. So, where's, where the hell's the, where's the hell the, is the museum? Now, down at the museum, I've put these, um, I've put the four tracks next to the, next to this depot. And, uh, and this is where the Yorkie Pud Express will be parked. I may need to take these a bit longer. I don't know how long the Yorkie Pud Express is. It's probably a bit longer than that. And, but I wanted, to, I wanted to make this like a bit of a feature. Yeah, I, I am looking at this and thinking, yeah, you know what? I think probably I need to come out at least a little bit further. Use standard tracks. Yeah. Let's come out a little bit further. Which gives us the excuse to kind of make this bigger. 
Oh, I should have had the catenaries. No. Well, I'll take those catenaries off. There we go. And uh, catenaries. Bye bye. Bye bye. There we go. All right. So, yeah, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking more buildings. Now I could put another one of these back to back, and then have some tracks linking up. Ah, oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a tempting idea now. But I was, what I was originally going to do, let's go back to these buildings. I was originally going to use some of these. Now. And have, like, one down here. On that side. And maybe another one on the other side. Uh, let's see what I want. I guess there. Because, like, for, a, for a, a train museum, you know, people are going to want to walk along on a race platform and, and see the stuff. And I thought that kind of creates a nice kind of area. But I I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking, well, well, what about if I put another one of those? Like, I could put another one of those over here. But the thing is, I do want that view as you come through here. So I don't want to kind of clutter this up too much. I want as you come through here for the for the museum to be over there, and yeah, I like I like the way that is at the moment. So I don't know. We might just leave it like that. Now, question: How the hell do we get the Yorkie Pud, the Yorkie Pud Express, um, down to here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is the is the very simple answer? Now, I suppose. We could do... Okay, I'm going to do it a different way. I was going to just like put some track and hook it up to here. And then just get it to come down... Uh, come down this track and, and come over here. Um, which is probably still the smartest idea. But on the basis that we do have over 3 billion. I think what we'll do is um, get some track. And now, uh, which, which line are we going to put this on? I'm thinking... Probably, probably this line. So, let's take a bit of track out the back, like that. And then we'll link up a piece of track directly to that, if we can. Which is not the easiest thing in the world. There we go. Right, now if we drop it down, and hopefully get a tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha! And drop it down one more. It's going to cost us 10 million. But it means that we can route the train straight into here. Which just makes life very, very easy. So, yeah, let's do it. Cha-ching. All right. So, the Yuki Pud. We want you to go. Let's see. Um, now, again, if, if you know an easier way to do this, right, please let me know. I've gone way too far. Uh, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put in a... Wrong. I'm going to get a signal. Now I could do this with a... I suppose with a waypoint. Yeah, which would also work. It might look better. So if I, if I was to put a waypoint like there. Yeah, let's let's put a waypoint in there. You know, I might put a, a couple of these in because they kind of look good. Let's put a couple of those in. Yeah, what the hell? So um, we we'll put a waypoint in there, and then if we come up to here, because like like right now, if if like I have to put this on our line, right? So. If I just put a waypoint in there and then create a new line and the new line's going to be oh, it must contain at least one stop. Um, okay, well that's not necessarily the end of the world. Uh, what we can do then is because we're linked oh god, where, where, the, where the hell's the museum gone? I keep losing the museum. That's that. That's the farm. Oh, here it is. 
Um, because we've got like this link to this track, we can use this as a stop. We can say there. We'll add mostly freight station. Um, so mostly freight station, and then if we select that waypoint and that's all we need now if we put this onto line one oh can't find path to stop um why not you're linked onto this you could go all the way up to the end and all the way down to the to the bottom couldn't you okay uh, let's do it another way then so instead of going um mostly freight central Let's try adding. Well, hang on. Why don't we add the farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd do, wouldn't it? Applejack Farm Station to that waypoint. And it contains too few stations. Uh, I don't really want to. I don't really want to put a station in here. So come down to that waypoint. What if I say go back to the apple jam? Oh, I don't know. Go, I don't know. Go, go to this one. All right. Now will you? Now will you do it? Hopefully, hopefully yes. Let's uh, let's let's see what happens when we open the doors. Here we go. Here comes the Yorkie Put Express, and it stops. Seriously? Okay, what about... Now, I would have thought, because that track is completely clear, I would have thought that would have zipped straight down here. But, like, I suppose we can always throw a signal down here. Um, maybe that'll help it. So if we throw a signal, like, actually, let's put a signal in there, which is pretty much where we want it to stop anyway. All right, now will you move? Let's go up here and have a look. Let's get out of that. So, are you going to move? Yes, and now you'll move. Hooray. So, should we go on the um, the last journey? The very last journey of the Yuki Pud Express. My God. <laughs> they are so slow, aren't they? Crazy slow. We don't need the Applejack car anymore. And it's going to go straight into a tunnel. And it's a very long tunnel. My goodness me, it's already up to 29 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. It's racing along. <laughs> where are we? Oh, where the hell's that? Oh, somewhere else. We were going under somewhere else. That's somewhere else. Um, I have come up with a with an idea of... Um, linking somewhere else to somewhere in the uh, in the new series we'll see we'll see let's follow the Yorkie Put Express and see where we go it is kind of cool to just look around the place there you go the trams I've got to do a lot of work actually on uh, on somewhere else and uh, on Gangu and we're going to be doing a huge amount of work on the airports like uh, like I told you Right, should we um, should we speed this up? I think we should probably speed this up because this is going to take a while. Right, now there's the farm. So the museum, let's see, the museum's down there. There's the museum. So let's, let's crank you up because otherwise you're going to take a while. I'll tell you what, guys. I am praying that they figure out these performance issues and give us something that's at least, you know, at least half decent. You know, get rid of this this stuttering and whatever. There's no reason that it should be this bad. And I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Because, oh my god, if they if they can fix it, oh this game's so damn good. This game is so damn good. Here we go. Now let's slow you down. Here comes it comes up from Yorkie Put Express, and that yeah, that's about as long as I thought it was going to be. So what we're going to do um, is get it into position, and then I'll stop it 
So I want it about there. Yo, perfection. And there it is, the pride of the Somewhere Else Railway Museum, the Yorkie Pud Express. Sweet. I am wondering, do I, do I pull it a little bit further forward? But now I think actually, I think that's fine. Right there. Cool. Now, I could probably get rid of these signals and things. I don't know. I don't, I don't, you know, I might just leave them there. I might just leave them there. Right, we can get rid of this track now. And let's get rid of that and a bit of that. And then all I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to tidy up the terrain for now. And then I'll, I'll, I'll actually like sort it all out offline. Because you don't need to watch that. Oh. Try and smooth it, you bonehead. Let's actually... A quick raise. And then flatten it off. There we go. No muss, no fuss. Peachy. Right, so then we, uh, we just need... Blend in the back with a few trees. Something, something like that. Yeah. A few more right at the back. Oh, I'm using blooming shrubs. Bunnied. Some trees in there. There we go. Go. That's more like it. So let's um, let's let the let the smoke clear. But of course, it's 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 going to sit there with, it, with its smoke going, which is fine. The Yorkie Pud Express. Excellent. All right. Um, pause. What on earth are we going to do next now? I suppose I could play around with the airports, but the thing is, the whole thing with the airports is going to be quite a big job, and I think that that's more conducive to like a bit of uh, a bit of time lapse and uh, and doing the work offline. And then I don't know, maybe do one one of them with you, but I'm going to be reworking all of them. And this big flat area down here is suddenly going to come into its own because. Um, this airport over here is actually going to be moved over here. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do so that hopefully you'll get excited about the idea. You know how I, I moved the airports so that the planes fly in one way and fly out. And they just and they, they could just like fly in that way, fly out that way. The problem is when you put in the anti-clockwise route, they'll, they'll like fly around here and then they have to do a loop to come in the same way. And then when they fly out this way, they have to do a loop and go that way, which obviously slows them down. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to double up our airports. So what we're going to have... Now, where was I talking about doing it? Oh, yeah, down here. And, of course, we've got this great big flat area down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of airports. And now I might just go... Because we're putting in two airports... I might just go for single runway because like the double runways are so huge. So we may just have single runways. I haven't definitively decided. We'll see. But the idea is to have um, one airport on that side, then flip it around and put another airport on the other side. And then connect them in the middle with either um, like a railway station or um, or a, a big road with trams. And we're going to do that over here. Let's get rid of that stuff because it's, it's laggy. Uh, we're going to do that over here. We're going to do it uh, over here. Now that of course means that I've kind of got to find the space to put two airports in here, which is not <laughs> going to be easy. And then I'm going to have to rework the, the trams. So I think we'll do this as like one big exercise where we'll, I'll do, the, I'll do the, uh, the airports. And I think I'm, what I'm going to try and do, because this would be really cool, would be to have the regional railway run through the middle of it. 
uh, and a road like this with the trams. So have rail and trams going to it. We're gonna have this road that's coming up here, which I've laid in, which is coming up from Maceley. Um, we'll put in a, a tram link there as well. So we'll have uh, we'll have very good and high speed access to the to the airport, and we'll see if we can really get some people flying on it. Now the um, over over this side by dogging, um, what I was thinking of doing was actually linking the airports up to um, basically to these, so that we could maybe uh, put in some additional TGV links. Just have like short TGV links to like. Premier 2K and uh, and Winston maybe or something like that to get people very fast to the airport. That's the idea. And the reason I'm telling you about this rather than just doing it is because um, I want to like let you know so that you can feed me your ideas because you might come up with some cool ideas about how I can do it or what I should do or whatever. And obviously we're going to be doing the same with um, RAF RAF Halton over here. Um, and that's going to have again we're going to have another regional. Um, uh, route going around here so again I'm going to be thinking about putting it I don't know maybe moving it over to the, this area and having the regional route running through here in between the two airports that's the general plan that's the general plan okay you know what guys I think that's it for this episode um, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, if you've got any comments about what I'm doing in this series versus the other series or um, comments about the, um, the custody battle uh, for the, uh, the Yorkiepud Express or, uh, or basically anything, and I hope lots of you will be commenting about this junction and how the whole thing looks and everything, um, then leave me a comment and I will catch you for the next one. Peace out.